Hello, everyone. For whoever's watching, it's Tim Spatz, and here's my project on cell division. And I'm going to be talking about DNA, chromatin, chromatids, chromosomes, and... Uh, well, you get the idea. But I'm not the only one who's going to be talking to you about this. <laughs> Why no? In fact, I have someone very special who's going to be helping me, so hold on a minute. Hello? Hey, Mr. Acid, it's me. Tim, hello, how's it been? Well, right now I'm in a pickle, and I could use your help, Mr. Acid. What kind of help do you need exactly, Tim? Well, my class is doing a project on cell division, and I'm doing DNA, chromatin, chromatids, and acids, and... Ah, say no more. Well, I was kind of hoping if you would help me. All right, Tim, you talk me into it. Great! Don't thank me, what? And just so you know, my class is probably watching you right now. Oh, then I should probably tell you and the rest of the class that I'm really DNA. Really? I thought you were an acid. I am. DNA stands for deroxynucleic acid. <laughs> wow, that's a lot to remember. That's why we're called DNA. DNA is basically in every cell. Really? What does DNA do? Well, DNA is basically a molecule delivering genetic information to organisms. Is that so? Yes, that is so. <laughs> I never knew that. Tim? Well, maybe I had. Is there anything else I should know? Yes, matching chromosomes have the same genes. Chromosomes? No, Tim. Not chromosomes. Oh, chromosomes. Sorry. What are chromosomes? Well, cells that divide as chromatin condense into structures. So? Those structures are called chromosomes. Oh! So, chromosomes are basically cells that are condensed. Hmm. That's very interesting. But now, you said something about chromatins. May I inquire as to what those are? Well, Tim, chromatins are cells doing daily routines. Wait a minute. We all have daily routines. What's so special about the daily routine of a chromosome? Of DNA and chromatin? Daily routine of the cell allows DNA to combine with proteins, thus creating chromatin. Okay. Hey, that's pretty interesting about chromatins, but I want to know something. Is there anything else you can tell me about chromosomes for my project? Well, actually, I want to tell you about chromatids since they are real. They're actually identical strands where chromosomes split for cell division. Really? That's right. Now, is there anything you can tell me about chromosomes? Why, yes there is, young man. That's great, Mr. Acid. What is it you want to tell me about this that will help me with my project? Yes, matching chromosomes have the same genes. Really? It almost sounds like they're clones. Well, in a sense, some Mr. cells Acid, are- don't get me wrong, I'm not doubting you, but I'm afraid that doesn't make any sense whatsoever for my project. You're kidding me, right? I'm sorry, it doesn't. Could you explain that in some way? Well, I guess it would be nice to explain to you what I was talking about. You ever hear of homunculus chromosomes? No, I haven't. Wait a minute, hang on, I'll put you on speaker. So, tell me, what exactly does homunculus chromosomes mean? Well, homunculus chromosomes are basically two copies of each chromosome. Really? That, that's pretty interesting. Now, I also have to talk about tetrads. What can you tell me about tetrads? Oh, I can tell you lots about tetrads. They're basically another name for diploid. Diploid? Isn't that with the four copies of each chromosome? 
the opposite of haploid? Correct. Hey, one score for this batsman. <laughs> what else should I know about tetrads? Well, they are formed after all of meiosis. They're formed after all of meiosis? Huh, that's pretty interesting. You bet it is interesting. And speaking of meiosis, you know interphase? Yeah. Well, in interphase, DNA replicates in the S phase. Alright! So it replicates in the S phase? I thought it was in the G1 phase. A lot of people get... Oh, it's just for cell growth with the G phase. I know, Big! <laughs> well, I think I have all I need for my project now, Miss... Acid. Thanks so much for your help. Welcome. Goodbye. Bye. Well, that concludes my cell division project. I hope I taught you something about cell division with DNA, chromatids, chromatin, chromosomes, tetrads, and well, you get the gist.